After creating the layout, the next step is to add items or widgets inside the container. But first, we need to define the container settings to help better facilitate your work. Some of the settings affect the container itself and others affect the items it holds. These may be child containers or widgets. The next video will elaborate on the items settings. This video will discuss the containers settings. Learn how to access the container settings, how to modify the layout settings, and how to set the container's style. Before we start, let's look at two ways to access a container's settings. The first way is by clicking the container icon in a container's top left corner or on the parent container's handle. The second way you can access the settings is by opening the navigator and clicking on the container you want to customize. You can find the container settings available on the panel. Under layout, you can set the container's content width setting. You then have two options. The first is when the content width is boxed. When the content width is boxed, the container will take up the full width of the page and you can set the width of the content itself within the container. The second option is setting the content width to full. This means the content will take up the full width of the container and the width slider will then set the width of the container within the page. For both the full width and boxed settings, your container's content determines the container's height by default. You can set the minimum height of each container though by adjusting the minimum height slider. Under the advanced tab, you'll find additional layout settings, the margin and padding. Margin and padding are used to define the space between elements and directly impact your layout. Under the Style tab, you will see multiple options to add style to a container. First, under Background, you can add both a normal background and hover background. Here, you can choose among color, gradient, image, slideshow, or video for your container background. Second, under Background Overlay, you can also add a normal or hover overlay to your container's background. Third, under Border, you can style the outer edges of your container. For example, you can add a dotted line or border radius to make your edges rounder. And finally, by using shape dividers, you can create more interesting visual separation in your page. Under the Advanced tab, the Motion Effects menu will allow you to add scrolling and mouse effects, add an intro animation, and make your container sticky. For more information on the container's layout and style settings, head over to Elementor's Help Center.